are now listening to the Serious Growth Podcast with your host, Leo Costa Jr. Welcome to Serious Growth Podcast. Something's going to be told here. Truth, something, something's going to happen. I just know it. You know, when I was uh, growing up, certain things that people said, and even to this day, there's certain things that a person will say that sticks in my head forever. And I mean forever. And yet so much of the stuff that I hear, I guess I forget about it like immediately or the next day. I just, it doesn't stick. And I now wonder sometimes why certain things that certain people say do stick. It doesn't matter. It just does. But I had a gentleman say he was an older gentleman, kind of like where I'm at now. So I'll call him an old timer, just like I'm calling myself that too. And he said, you know, when I get on an airplane, I want to see the gray in that hair. And I didn't really know what he meant by that. But what he meant by that was he was referring to the pilot. So he said when he gets on an airplane, he wants to see a little gray around the temples of that pilot. And, of course, you know, what he was referring to was somebody who's got a little gray in their hair they've been around a little bit they lived life a little bit more than than the uh the average person and if i want somebody to get me from point a to point b on an airplane i want to make sure that the guy that's flying this baby has a lot of firsthand experience you know and that makes a lot of sense it didn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me back in those in those days but As I've lived my life, I've talked about this before. I think it's almost all about firsthand experience. And so I I live my life that way now. It's funny that I heard that, I don't know how many years ago, gosh, probably when I was in my 20s, that's how long this thing has stuck with me. And I'm that person now. And I really believe that. And I've talked about how I think you know, it's it's important to be book smart. I think it's important to, you know, uh, read about theory. In theory, something should be done. But you cannot replace that firsthand experience. So look at my hair, damn it. Look at that. That shit's gray. And I live in that world. Don't ever discount that. For those people that are out there that you're younger, don't discount that. You know, if somebody's been staying in the game for that long, and it's, I've talked about that the mark of a, a good program is it stands the test of time. Don't discount people that have been around and don't think that it's old school, like in a negative way. Hey, I'm all about, you know, uh, evolving. I'm just talking to a guy on a podcast just now, how, you know, he's 29 years of age, I'm 67. And I'm still learning stuff to this day. So it's not about discounting tried and tested information and saying that's good enough. Because some people I think that they stay in that, you know, environment where they never they never challenge themselves. And there's a reason for that. Sometimes it's just that you just don't want to do that. It's uncomfortable to learn something new. But it's amazing what you will learn out there if you just let yourself. So, you know, one of the things that that when I'm talking about training or diet, one thing that's really important is realize that it's hard to fool Mother Nature. I had somebody reach out to me. I made a post or I made a comment about, that the body becomes this function. It was, uh, I said, wet, wet, the warming up is a waste of time, a waste of energy. And of course, somebody came out and, and questioned me. And I got to say something. I really do appreciate when people do come out and question me. I like that. I like to, to be called to the platform to, you know, someone said, well, what do you mean by that? How can you possibly mean that I could just be ready to do 30 reps in, in this amount of weight? from the beginning well that's a good question but if you know anything about the your physiology it's a physiological fact is what it is 
and you can't fool mother nature. But someone who is a beginner or someone who doesn't have quite the experience uh, in that industry, well, that they're going to question that. And I think it's so important that you question everything. So I'm not offended in any way by when somebody comes out and questions that. But it also tells me that you need to live a little more life in the first hand to realize that warming up is a waste of energy because your body responds to the kind of environment that you're putting it under. It's going to respond to that. If you teach you that you need to warm up, it's going to do that. It's going to, you're going to have to do that. But physiologically you don't. All right, let's take a quick break so I can tell you about our product. Do you want a bone crushing grip? Good, because you're gonna get one with the amazing new TRS Gripper. It's a progressive grip builder with longer handles and a special ergonomic design that's like a dozen hand grippers in one. Start off easy and work your way up to quickly build your grip strength from wet noodle to pulverizing. The package includes a video from the world famous strength coach, Dr. Russ Horine, the man who worked with Leo Costa to help bring you Big Beyond Belief in the Bulgarian Power Burst. Dr. Horine shows you a simple and easy to follow workout plan that takes just minutes a day right from in front of your TV set if you want. So click on the link below and let's get started building you a stronger, firmer, bone crushing grip. So here, here's another area I want to get into that's a little bit, it'll cause maybe some questioning, is uh, which metabolism do you utilize and why? For those of you that are out there, do you know that there are two metabolisms? I think that maybe a large segment of people know that. But do you know that in a way that you can really use the two metabolisms to your benefit, to the nth degree. Because that's kind of what it gets down to. And this is where the, the gray hair comes into play. I can tell you this, maybe, and I've, I've never heard it out there, anybody explain it. Maybe if some of you know this, reach out to me and let's have a debate about this thing. But, okay, which metabolism do you use? You have two metabolisms, free fatty acid, and glucose. So my question to you is, can two metabolisms be working at the same time? And for those of you who say yes, then you're absolutely wrong. Here's how it works. It is true, I've talked about this before, with a high-fat diet. Again, to recap, high-fat keto, Atkins diet, these are all the same, the accessing the same metabolisms, the free fatty acid metabolisms. And I've talked about how you can make the, the old style of the free fatty acid diet, like Vince Joranda was another one that implemented uh, the free fatty or the free fatty acid. He was more like zero carbs and just did that. Atkins did the same thing where you were just eating that particular diet seven days, day in and day out, which for most people at some point, they, they can't handle that. It's too monotonous. I understand that. But we did figure out a way in the anabolic diet how to learn how we could do carb cycling. So you can use carbohydrates in a diet that's a high-fat diet. But you're never coming out of the high-fat diet, even though you're implementing carbohydrates. Now, for some of you that might not know that, is that it takes three days for your body to transition from one metabolism to the other. So in this sense, even though I'm carb cycling, I'm getting the benefits of eating the carbohydrate. It's not switching my metabolism. So in that sense, I'm not really utilizing both metabolisms because both metabolisms can't work at the same time. 
but again, if you don't have that coming back to that at the top, we talked about having that, that firsthand experience doing things over and over again to see how it really works. You can't possibly know that you can't very few people will take that amount of that time to actually see that that is a true fact. And then imagine, you know, imagine how much you are leaving out of a, the potential of either one of these diets working to its at highest level. You know, it's the little things that we don't do sometimes that, that causes a, a huge negative result. Or like this gentleman that I had on just recently, he, uh, he said, you know, he felt like he wasted five years because he'd been learning how to train a certain way, a certain style. And, you know, there's a certain amount of that that has to happen. But you're going to, it's going to be, you could say, wasted time or just, you know, that's a necessary time that you have to put into that to keep making the adjustments to finally hone in to what really works better for you. But some people just don't know that, for example, I'm just trying to point out maybe something you don't know that those two metabolisms don't work and they can't work at the same time. And still, you can utilize the carbohydrates that way. It's just knowing how to do that. Question everything. I question everything. And so one of the other things I want to talk about, too, is now I've gotten into this. You know, I'm always trying to, to get more out of the body. Uh, as I'm now 67 years of age, I'm still interested in, in finding that out for myself. So I'm constantly, I'm still in the lab. 40 years ago, I started in the, you know, doing serious growth and all these products that we put out. And all we did was Russ and I, Dr. Horine and I were constantly in the lab, in the gym, testing this stuff, you know. And I'm still interested in the idea of that. Your body has an amazing ability, more than I ever thought. I mean, I'm in uncharted waters when I'm telling you this because I'm learning firsthand what my body is actually able to do. But something that I just stumbled upon that I think is really important for all of you that are out there. I've been talking about a little bit more on my lives and even on this on this uh, serious growth show is this lockdown. It, I originally s s s developed this thing called lockdown weight loss system. And of course it says just exactly what it is it's for weight loss. But what I didn't really fully understand was that it was a lot. It was a much bigger picture as to who it applies to. And I'm telling all of you out there that are training, if you want your body to continue to make progress at any age if you want your pro uh, body to if you're that person that's out there that's taking medication because as we get older and even some of you younger people you know any kind of medication that you're taking generally is i'm not telling you something that you don't know has a lot of side effects and look sometimes the side effects are better for you than your actual condition that you have i do understand that but in my mind, I never want to be on medication ever. And I'm not now. But you, you really have to understand how you can access your body's inner mechanisms that are built in into your body. And where I'm referring to is, is your physiology, in this case, and your metabolism. Look, most people have a sluggish metabolism. Maybe it's because you're inactive. And, and maybe you're just because you're getting older. But most people's metabolism just doesn't work like it should for some various reasons. But here's what I learned. I stumbled on this, and it was right in front of me the whole time. Lockdown, even though it was for immediate weight loss it was also something that the person that was trying to put on muscle 
create endurance, get off the meds, the same process, the same implementation and strategy that you use in this lockdown for weight loss is what you need to be doing no matter what your goal is. And I don't care what your goal is because here's what happens. Lockdown is a 24-week a weight loss system. Just to some of you that don't know about this. It's designed to produce immediate results, but I'm bothered by that. And that's the reason why I've never come out with a weight loss uh, program until I figured this out. Because look, the, the average person, human nature is we want stuff fast. We want to get a result fast. I get that. But I've always been bothered by the fact that it doesn't make sense that if you get a result fast, that you can't maintain that forever. I mean, that's the state of goal to stay on it for the rest of your life. That's a hell of a, a state of goal. But that's what I'm trying to create. And of course, I think that, you know, that we're a lot closer with a strategy like lockdown, because not only does it produce immediate results, it builds a, a daily habit that turns into a lifestyle ritual because this, this, for those of you who actually do stay on that, by the way, no one ever fails that stays on, on this program. No one. I don't care what your age is. I don't care if you're male or female. I don't care if you're on meds up to the, you're here. No one fails. But, but it also builds over 24 weeks a lifestyle ritual. If you can hang that long, you're golden. It'll last forever. It's built into you. It's kind of like these us being bodybuilders. We get to a point that we've done this for so long that we don't have an internal debate whether or not we're going to do this or that. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. I mean, that's, for me, that's a, a sense of freedom. When I first started dieting, for example, I didn't know anything about dieting <clears throat> until I got into the sport of bodybuilding. I was constantly overwhelmed. I could lose weight, but then I was overwhelmed and I had anxiety when I started gaining weight. I couldn't control it. That just the fact that you are anxious about that and being overwhelmed causes a whole set of negative circumstances, right? So I feel good about saying, look, this, even though this program will create immediate results, here's what it does even on a bigger scale. And this is the reason why I think every one of you out there should be on this lockdown. For it's, it's all in the first two weeks where the magic happens. It's the secret sauce, secret code, call it what you want. First two weeks. We drive you we, through restricting aggressively your caloric intake and your training. We restrict you. It's very aggressive. It's safe because it's only two weeks. What that does is it fundamentally changes your physiology and your metabolism basically forever. And I'll tell you why. So what happens then, I'll give you the why, is that in layman terms, it wakes up your physiology, your metabolism, that all of us have, they're basically sluggish. It sets you up for everything else that you want to do. And again, to those goals of putting on huge amounts of muscle in a much more efficient way, developing anything that you want, getting off meds, it changes your metabolism. It's the first two weeks that's the secret. And then, then we take you on this journey where we're making you a lot more efficient. And look, down the road, if you our metabolism starts getting sluggish again, guess what? You go back and do a two-week shock to the body. You can have a metabolism of when you were younger throughout the rest of your life. And I just, I didn't know this was going to happen. And yet when I look back at, at this program, it's, it was just right in front of me. So what's your goal? Are you struggling with your diet? Are you struggling with your training? What is it? 
it doesn't matter who you are. I've got people that are on their UFC fighters, boxers. They're cutting weight to get, uh, make a, make an event at their, their body weight, their class. It applies to those people. What's your goal? And I think that the reason why I'm telling you this and, and focusing on the first two weeks is because if I tell you this is a 24 week program, I would say that most people are going to be overwhelmed just by that. Most people fail. And that's the reason why these quick fix diet programs, anything that's quick fix that promises you all this result. And that's what made me leery about this. It, they fail. It's, it's a dead end. You're more than likely going to fail. Stats prove that with the Jenny Craig's and the nutrition, uh, all these quick fix diets that are out there, Jenny Craig, systems they fail. So I'm trying to re-educate how you look at something like this. Yeah, I can guarantee that you're going to make a shitload of progress in the first two weeks. I mean, I've got my case study that's on my website, and this applies. I got 30 people on this uh, lockdown now. And again, for ball walks of life, you can lose 10 pounds in 12 to 14 days as a start four inches overall as a start forget that wouldn't you just like to have a metabolism like you did when you were 20 it sounds too good to be true and, and i'm telling you it's legit if you want more information about this feel free to reach out to me on my instagram I don't care what kind of training that you're doing. I don't care if you're not doing any training at all. You'll always get the results. And my final little, as I leave here, the other thing that you must understand, and I think most of you know this, it's only temporary. All the stuff that we talk about, losing weight, putting on muscle, all this is only temporary. It doesn't last forever. It would be nice if we, you know, we talked about this before. Take a pill, and that's you're golden for the rest of it. No, that doesn't work that way. I know that most people know that, but nothing's temporary. I mean, it's I should say it's only temporary. It's not final. So unless you kick the bucket, it's final, perhaps. But none of this is is forever. But that I see that as a positive thing. Because that gives me another opportunity when I do fail, because I mentioned that you need to learn how to fail successfully. Your first run at this, you know, anything that you do with training or dieting, most of the time you're going to fail. We all fail. And we have to learn how to do that and make that work for us. It's only temporary, but that's okay. You have to be willing to, to stay in the game and to really come to those terms. If not, enjoy the up and down ride that most people get before they turn into a sloth on the couch. Until next time, go get serious growth. Serious growth applies to not only physical pain, pain is good, but it applies to emotional pain. Go put yourself in an uncomfortable spot on a daily basis, emotionally challenge yourself. Put yourself in pain. It's a good thing. And you'll always grow. You'll get better. Talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the Serious Growth Podcast. For more episodes like the one you just listened to, subscribe to us on your mobile podcast app and leave us a review. If you'd like to reach out, you can find us online at SeriousGrowth.com. Until next time, train smart and train hard.